Hello, my name is Albert Einstein, and today I'm here to tell you about my special theory of relativity. My theory is based on two basic principles of physics. These are called the two postulates. The first postulate is that the speed of light is the same for all observers. Regardless of the speed of the light source, the speed of light remains constant. And the second is that the laws of physics remain the same in any inertial frame of reference. A man, who we will call observer A, is standing directly in the centre of a train platform. As a speeding train passes, two strikes of lightning hit it front and back. The strikes are at an equal distance from each other and the observer. As the light travels, it reaches the observer at the same time, meaning that to the observer, both strikes happened simultaneously. There is also an observer on the train called Observer B. She observes the strikes in a different way. As the woman is travelling towards the front flash, the light has a shorter distance to travel. This means that the woman on the train would say, the front strike occurred first. So who's right? The answer is, they both are. This is a fundamental result of the theory of special relativity. It proves that there can be no simultaneous events from different reference fields. Here we see Observer A is about to embark on a space mission. On board his spacecraft he has taken a pulse clock, a device similar to an hourglass made of two mirrors with a particle of light bouncing between them. Observer A views the particle travelled in a straight line. Each tick counts as a second. Observer A is accelerated to a constant speed of 180,000 miles per hour. To him, the pulse still only takes one second. However, Observer B, working on a nearby space station, views the pulse clock in a very different way. When the particle starts its descent, it doesn't travel in a straight path. It travels forward to meet the bottom mirror. This path takes longer for the particle to travel, and each tick takes over a minute. This proves the second fundamental conclusion of special relativity. This is that the closer you get to the speed of light, the more rapidly time passes. So what could appear to be an hour for Observer A would actually be 10 years for Observer B. No one can deny how ahead of his time Einstein was. He devised this theory before space travel was even possible. Who knows? He may have even given us the answer to time travel. We just haven't caught up with him yet.